Hello, my name's Hannah Orchard from Smith Cooper. I am the implementation team leader for the South Region and today I'm going to walk through the sales order processing link to purchase order processing in Sage 200. So linking sales order processing to purchase order processing. So if we create, we're going to the sales order processing module, drop down and click on the sales order list. This will update the screen on the right hand side. Create a new sales order. So we click on new to create a new sales order. Select her customer account that's placed the order with us. Update the other details accordingly and then select add item to add your item that's going to be linked to a purchase order. Standard item, which is stock related items that are held within your stock module. OK, you can either type the code in or select from the drop down list. Supply via stock. Select the quantity, so we're just going to order one. Price has come directly from the stock control module. Click save and close. And then we click on save and generate purchase order. Now what that's going to do is it's going to look at the stock item and look at the preferred supplier that's linked to that stock item to create the purchase order to that supplier. Now at this stage it's just prompting you to enter a, a customer order number. So if you've received a purchase order from your customer you would enter that at this stage. Click OK. OK, that's our sales order that's been generated. Close, refresh our list. So there's our sales order. OK, and if we click on view, it will then give us the ability to view the associated information on that order and the lines within the order. So the line is highlighted. If I click on view item, I can now see that there is a linked purchase order here. OK, so if I click on linked purchase order, that's my purchase order that's been created to Atlas. So again, that's the supplier that's linked to the uh, stock item within the stock control module. So that's the order number. So I put so you would make a note maybe of your purchase order number, but that is directly linked to your sales order. We can close that. We're just viewing the screen, so we can close that at this stage. Okay, and close. Come out of here. So refresh. Now, if we pop over to the purchase order processing module and click on purchase order list, this will update the list view on the right hand side. If we refresh our list, we can see at the top there, you have also got this auto refresh and that's not been enabled. So if I enable that, that will automatically uh, refresh my list. Okay, so at the top there, we've got Atlas ranges. So I can either click on the amend or view. So we've already viewed it. So let's click on the amend just to see the slightly different variation there of looking at the purchase order. OK, so don't forget, this is the linked purchase order to the original sales order. So the delivery information is coming through from the sales order. OK, so if I make that full screen, click on edit. Now, you wouldn't edit this uh, purchase order because it is directly linked to a sales order. OK, and there will be notifications that will pop up if you try to amend anything so if I try to edit for argument's sake um, it's already it's grayed out because it's automatically linked to the sales order so I can't edit the quantity because that information is coming directly from the sales order. I could edit the unit price if needed at this stage so if we close that screen and again we can view the purchase order so I can see the value or I can also see quantities here so it's telling me here that it's linked to a sales order. SOP order, yes. OK, so if I click on the line and click on view item, you can see here you've got this linked orders option. So if I click on that, that gives me the information that's directly linked to the sales order that was originally generated. OK, so I can see the type is a sales order, the order number 5181, who the customer is that I raised the sales order for, purchase order quantity and the sales order quantity dispatched. And there's an outstanding quantity of one to be dispatched. You can also view the sales order from this screen by clicking on view order. And here you can see the original sales order that we generated. You can make the screen slightly bigger by clicking up here and that fills the whole screen. Now you've got the dispatches option down here on the sales order at the moment. Obviously we haven't got anything. But obviously once we've dispatched that order, then obviously this screen will be automatically updated as well. So if we click close, close close those screens. Okay, so now we're going to receive our goods into stock. So if we go back to our purchase order processing module and then go to order processing, and we've got confirm goods received. So our supplier was Atlas. 
Uh, now, the reference can be anything. It's your internal goods received note reference. Whoever maybe booked it in in the warehouse, you could put, maybe put their name and the time, for example, whatever your internal processes are. So quantity. So if you select the item as being received and save. Okay. So now if I view my purchase order, show quantities. Okay. One's been received. So that will automatically update our sales order to now be dispatched. So if I refresh and go back to my sales order processing module, sales order list, click on view, show quantities. So one has been allocated. It's automatically been allocated because it's linked to the purchase order. So I can now dispatch, go to order processing, goods dispatch, confirm goods dispatch. Okay, with single order. So we can put in our order reference here. So display, so our order number, date, the warehouse it's coming from and the quantity to dispatch. Okay, we click on save, close with our dispatch note there. If we want to attach that and send that with the goods view. So again, we can go back to the order. We can see the trail, the link between the sales order and the purchase order. So we click on quantities. The quantity is now moved from allocated to dispatched. There's a dispatch note and your sales order is now ready to be invoiced. So that completes the video for linking a sales order with a purchase order in Sage 200. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.